in the whole serious world, this is serious. We're talking war. Now, I used to, well, I don't know who know really know a lot of history about war, because I'm wondering when I was pacifist, you know, make love, not war kind of thingy, you know. But it seems to me, I, I remember when they used to do war before, you know, the conquering army, and it was just an army. The precision tree it was left back where they was, wasn't the army come in, and they ramsack your place, and they, you know, take your women and your children and the men and, and do all kinds of weird things. And, but what, what, what used to happen when one army conquered another area, people don't realize, but they would take the best out of that area. I mean, not just the best looking people and stuff like, I don't mean looking, but even the best, like, they would take the best I don't know, innovations and, and, whatever, and then they would take that and improve upon what they had, you know, and that's how they sort of rolled back then. And then things start to happen. I don't know, you know, this kind of warfare, that kind of warfare, and then before you know it, then you've got the, what's called the guerrilla warfare, when they, you know, they, you know, all that stuff, you know. Now we come to today, warfare today. I don't really think people understand. We're all in it. That's just as simple as that. I mean, if you say, oh no, my army's going to fight, but no, you commissioned your army to go fight. You allowed your politicians to do whatever they do for whatever reasons they have, which is not necessarily the same reasons that you have. And yeah, it's, 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 it's serious. It's, it's real serious. So basically, I mean, if they're going to go bomb your country, saying they're going to get, you know, your leader here, well, for every leader you, they get, they might kill, I don't know, 50, 100, 150, of people, people who are not in the army or in, you know, maybe a little bit of baby crying in the crib, you gone. Why? Because I'm trying to get this, you know, whatever. So you see where that's going. So there's the big problem. And now, plus, here's the thing. What are you fighting for now? <laughs> you can't be fighting for the land because everybody's on some sort of land mass or claiming some sort of thing. Okay, so you're fighting for the resources under that land. Oh, but you know you can't negotiate about it? No, 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 we just wanna take that. Well that's like old old time where we just take it. But wait a second, things are evolving. Now they can okay, let's say war material, as they say. War material, i.e. a weapon. Gun. Well, you know, they got machines now that the ordinary common person can make their own weapon. Pretty soon, people be making weapons, you know, that you never even thought about making weapons, weapons. And these weapons ain't gonna be made by, you know, they're gonna be made by, and then, you see what I'm saying? So we all at war, and we, and we can't stop it, because people are greedy for whatever they're greedy for, and they're greedy for what you got, and you're not, they're not gonna take it to innovate upon and make it a better world and nothing like that. They're gonna take it because they're gonna take it. I don't know what to do. I'm at war and I don't even want to be at war. You're at war, you don't even know that you're at war. Well, I don't know if you know that you're at war or not, but I'm just saying, the royal you, we at war and we don't even, well, we know we're at war because people are hurting. So there you go. This is discouraging. Well, it's actually, well, it's discouraging, but it's also a dispatch. It's be a dispatch from the Austin Director of Emergency. That would be me, T, from the Patterson's Technical Trenches, to be letting you know what I only suspect.